pushing on my ribs, on my stomach to push the baby out. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Renny. This is Ariel. Hi. My beautiful sister. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a tell-all Q&A with Ariel about motherhood and labor and bebes. Yeah! Don't forget to like and subscribe, or what, Ariel? Like and subscribe <laughs> and you'll get this. <laughs> <laughs> first things first. What's labor like? I'm afraid. Yeah, you should be. My labor was not easy. It was like 37 hours. You were there. I was outside. I, I was there one day, went home to bed to sleep, came back the next day. Did Ariel you? was laboring still. I thought my water broke. It didn't break, okay? We went to the hospital. I was dilated like half a centimeter. And they don't give you an epidural until you're dilated like three centimeters. Right. And it took me hours and hours of painful contractions until they would give me the epidural. So they gave me the epidural, it like, kept wearing off. And then by the time we got to like Push 37 it. hours, they're like, we might have to give you a C-section. And I'm like, do it. <laughs> It because it was so painful. Ariel, I'm about to give birth like in like a month what, and a half. Do you want me to lie? <laughs> do you want me to lie? By this time they're like, okay, push, push, push. I sent like everybody out of the room except the freaking doula. And I had her and like five midwives in the room. And they're like, Tista Klee alive, Tista Klee alive, Tista Klee alive. <laughs> they keep telling you to do different things. They're like, put your hands under your ass. Put your hands here, put your hands here. Push, push, open your legs. It was so hard. And it was driving me insane. They all sound really scary. It got so intense and by that time, one of, <laughs> you, you know what happened. Yeah. One of the midwives, do you want me to act it out? Yeah. Okay, so you're me. I'm Ariel. Okay, this is the midwife. <laughs> Lie down. Lie okay. down here. Like this. Okay. This is the midwife. <laughs> Pushing on my ribs, on my stomach to push the baby out. <laughs> Every time you imitate that, I cry because I'm like, is that real? Like, it was. I, I can't believe a nurse like it's real. shoved her butt in your face so that she could push down on your she, stomach. She honestly though, she got me through it. She's the reason I probably the reason I didn't need a freaking C-section. Pushing, 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 excruciating pain. Finally, they took her out. It was so great. When you held her in your arms, were you like, did you forget about everything that just happened, or were you like? What the fuck was that? Like, were you still really? Uh, well, I think yeah, I was like kind of like stunned. Just forget about that. Block that out. <laughs> Block that out. I can't believe you're trying. You're you want to get pregnant again? <laughs> <laughs> That's like okay. I do not understand how every woman in this world who's given birth does this. What the fuck? Every mom is a superhero. It's just, it's insane. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Don't worry. No, but this is the thing. They say that the first time is the worst. Right. Which is, it's my first time. So it's gonna be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for me to survive? Like, was there anything that you were missing that you would have, yes. that would have helped you? Yes. So I tore. I think it's kind of like common. Yes. So I didn't do this. My doula was like, buy the oil, buy the perennium oil. Oh, there's a special oil for it. Yeah. Okay. And you rub it, rub, 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 massage, like that whole area. area. Ariel's talking about the perennial massage. Yeah. Perineum is the area between your lady parts and butt hole. That area is what tears, which is so scary. It's really, really important for me because I weighed the baby. And at 33 weeks, our baby boy was 2.6 kilos, 5.7 pounds. Ready, you have a month and a half left. And I have a month and a half left. And I was over four kilos as a baby and Hadar was over four kilos as a baby. So like, thank you, bye-bye, I am <laughs> You get stitched up and then you heal and whatever, you're fine. Okay, so I should prepare that way. Anything do. else I should do? 
yeah, work out. Be in good shape, okay? <laughs> it's a little late for me right no, now. No, it's not late. I told up. you, do pregnancy <laughs> exercises. Yeah, okay. Like stretching. Squatting, stretching, walking. Because delivery is a fucking marathon. It can be a marathon, and the better shape you're in, the better, like the easier. Let's say I make it through the labor in one piece. Great. Now I have to breastfeed. Well, I don't have to breastfeed, but I want to try. Yeah. And that's something that is kind of, I hear it's difficult. Do you have any tips, breastfeeding tips? This is my tip. Do you want to be a good mom? Shut up. <laughs> yeah? Your secret weapons. <laughs> You don't need planning, you don't need preparation, you don't need cooking, you just whip out the breasts. <laughs> <laughs> if you can breastfeed successfully, it'll make your life a lot easier. Really? I would also <laughs> imagine it would be diff like annoying because like, if I'm breastfeeding, then Hadar can't really help me feed the baby. You pump, put it in the fridge, Hadar feeds the baby. That's what people do. And if they want to like split the responsibility while you're breastfeeding. By the way, something called lanolin, okay, <laughs> is your best friend. Oh my god, insert clip from my video with Eden here. I need a lot of lanolin, one. right? Lanolin! The fact that you remember that just means I scared her that much. That's right. I've heard nonstop about lanolin from both you and Eden. You lanolin, lanolin, lanolin. Eden gave me lanolin before I had the baby. Thank God. If breastfeeding starts to hurt, which it can hurt, especially like at the beginning, you gotta just moisturize the nips with lanolin <laughs> to keep it supple, keep it going, keep it smooth, and then it won't hurt. Great. How long after labor till you had sex again? Oh my God. And do you have sex today? Ready? <laughs> You're not gonna wanna have sex for a while. Yeah. Especially if you tear. No, I don't, yeah. And you get stitches. It's gonna hurt. You gotta like heal. No, I'm not running to have sex again. I know don't you worry. and Hadar can't fucking keep your hands <laughs> off each other. Just hold off for like at least six weeks. <laughs> It's gonna be longer than that. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanna say something, you're not gonna like it, but just recently, I'm like more into sex. So like an entire year after you gave birth? I'm not saying you're, you're not gonna have sex. You're not gonna wanna have sex. You're gonna wanna heal. You're gonna be fucking exhausted. Yeah. Okay? You're gonna be with the baby 24-7. Yeah. You think you're gonna feel sexy? How can I be a cool mom like you? Like you're so chill and Millie's the best baby ever. And she's so smiley. Okay, first of all, boobs. <laughs> no. <laughs> just, just whip out the boobs. Okay, this is kind of like a secret weapon, slash I don't even know if this is good advice. <laughs> <laughs> when, if your baby like falls and like starts crying, like breastfeed them. <laughs> if they start like whining about like whatever, breastfeed. I can't teach you to be cool. <laughs> born with it. No, but you guys are chill. We're pretty like, chill, but we can also be dramatic and very sensitive. Hadar's chill, and you're chill. Hadar's not as chill as you think. Hadar, are you gonna be a chill dad? <laughs> no. No. Just try to be calm in front of the baby. Yeah. And don't get worked up easily, you know? Oh yeah, it's so easy. Just do that. Okay, like, great. I think the problem is, what? as a mom, you're so sleep deprived yeah, that yeah. you're probably more on edge. It's harder to be cool. You'll get used to it. Will life ever be the same again? No. 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 <laughs> Listen, is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I mean, right now, Hadar and I kind of spend every night the same. We just like watch TV and go to bed and there's nothing else happening. There's going to be a drastic Change. Shift. Yeah. Which is, I mean, everything has pros and cons, but like, yeah, you're probably not gonna be just like chilling in front of the TV every night and just doing whatever you want, whenever you want, but. And like, I'll never <laughs> sleep in again, right? No. In the first few months, you're gonna be like, you know, waking up for the night feedings. You're gonna be watching a lot of TV. You're gonna be up at two, three, four, five, six <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> While Ladar is like sleeping, or no, unless you do the pumping. You'll be good. You'll be such a good mom. Yay. Will I? Thank you, Mary. Well, you know why I'll be good is because what? I'll have you nearby. 
Yeah! If you ever want a break from breastfeeding, I'm here. <laughs> no, that's not what I- I'm kidding. I, did. <laughs> I didn't mean that I need you to um, breastfeed my kid, I just meant for sanity reasons. I, Maybe I'll call you in the middle of the night when I'm up with the baby sometimes. How can I help? <laughs> <laughs> just be there to be an ear for me to bitch to. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so to sum it up, we've reached the end of our questions. I just wanna know, is there any final tip that you wanna leave us with that you wish you knew during like uh, labor slash new motherhood? Lanolin. 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 No. <laughs> this is what you do. Your mind needs to relax, all right? So that your body, everything can relax and then your body relaxes. Everything just, needs to open. Exactly. So bring an iPad with shows that you want to watch. It's actually okay. an amazing tip. What I did is literally, I'm like, everybody shut up. Bring me the iPad. And I watched hour after hour after hour of Breaking Bad. Amazing. <laughs> and it works because you're works. distracting yourself. It took, it, yeah, you're not thinking about anything except the show. Get, get a show that you're really gonna get into, you know what I mean? It's gonna really distract me. Yeah. And like make me use my brain. Yeah. And so we've reached the end of our questions. Thank you so much, Ariel, for being here. I love you so much. And friends, please leave your best birth tips, but only your best in the comments below. Thank you so much. I could use all the help I can get. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm really afraid still. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Ariel, for being here. I love you. I love you. Everybody follow her. I'll put your Instagram here. Yeah. Like and subscribe, girl, bitches. Uh -huh. You want some of this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Mwah.